the consecration ceremony that is slated to take place in Ayodhya. Now, three days before the Pran Pratishta ceremony in Ayodhya, the UP anti squad has found Khalistani links of three suspects held in Ayodhya. The three accused are identified as Rajasthan residents Shankar Dusad, alias Shankar Jajud, Ajit Kumar Sharma, and Pradeep Punia. The suspicion on the three deepened when a recorded voice message by Khalistani leaders was circulated on same on some people's mobile phones in Lucknow. So this is the latest that is coming in. Remember, viewers, these three suspects were nabbed yesterday and now we're learning at this point of time that uh, they in fact have Khalistani links is what uh, the latest development is coming in. My colleague Akshit Gupta joins us on the broadcast to give us more of this. Akshit, of course, uh, yesterday we spoke about how there were three suspects who were nabbed and today we're learning that uh, they have Khalisani links. What more details can you share with our viewers? Yes, uh, ahead of the mega inauguration uh, ceremony of Ram Temper and the Pran Pratishta, you know, three men were detained uh, on the basis of suspicious activity yesterday. And now the Khalistani link has also been uh, found out just ahead of the Pran Pratishta ceremony. Uh, well, uh, you know, I will also like to show you how security has been beefed up. Uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, what we are getting to learn that uh, the suspicion on the three men actually deepened. Uh, when a recorded voice message uh, was also found uh, by Khalistani leaders, uh, you know, uh, on some people's mobile phone in Lucknow, uh, and the recorded uh, voice message uh, was in the male voice, uh, and in the message, a man was posing uh, as the Khalistani, uh, you know, uh, uh, terrorist uh, Gurpatwan Singh uh, Pannu, who holds a dual citizenship of U.S. and Canada, as we know. Uh, and, uh, you know, UPDGP has also said that uh, uh, three uh, uh, men who have been detained uh, uh, are identified uh, as the residents of Rajasthan. Uh, 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 and, of course, uh, you know, uh, what we are also getting to learn is that the ATS investigators uh, said that the two different identity proofs uh, have also been recovered uh, from uh, these men. So, of course, uh, these all things have raised the suspicion uh, on that uh, Khalistani angle. Uh, on these uh, three men uh, and for that very reason only the security has been beefed up here uh, in the temple town uh, because uh, uh, it, it's important uh, to ensure that any kind of uh, infiltration or suspicious activity is averted. All right, Akshit, stay on with us. More news coming in on the same from the idol of infant Ram by Mysuru sculptor Arun Yogiraj has been placed in the Garbhagriha at the Ram Temple along with a grand Havan ceremony with the chanting of hymns and sacred Vedic mantras. Today, the Sanctum Sanctorum of Ram Mandir will undergo purification with the placement of 81 kalash filled with water from various rivers. Meanwhile, the rituals leading to the Pran Pratishta at the Ram Temple have already begun in Ayodhya with Vedic scholars from Kashi holding a puja after a bath in the sacred Saryu River. My colleagues, Akshit, still with us on the broadcast. Akshit, of course, uh, if you could take our viewers through the details of the rituals that are going to take place today. Well, yes, uh, you know, the rituals are taking place every day uh, and we also stand, you know, amidst the cacophony of uh, bhajans, uh, you know, which are playing. And of course, I will, I will uh, continue to show you uh, Ayodhya as to how it looks and talk about the rituals which are slated to take place today. Uh, because uh, 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 today, you know, which is the fifth day of the rituals, uh, 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 Shakra Divas and Fal Divas uh, are going to take place. They have been scheduled. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the Sanctum Sanctorum, uh, or which is also called the Garb Grey uh, of the Ram Temple, will be washed and cleaned with the water of Saryu River, uh, which is, of course, you know, one of the significant rituals. And the water from Saryu is said to be, as we know, holy. Uh, and it will be used to purify the temple because it's often said uh, by the Swamis also uh, that it's really important to, uh, you know, make everything pure uh, before the uh, mega Pran Pratishtha ceremony. And yesterday also, as we know, Agni Stapna took place uh, and the face of the idol of uh, Lord Ram was also revealed. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's also like a jubilant and uh, moment for uh, uh, all the devotees also. 
uh, because uh, they have been waiting for this, uh, you know, for the past few months, and it's like a dream come true for many. Uh, so when the face was revealed yesterday, uh, so many devotees uh, also became emotional uh, and and you know quite. Uh, uh, point also about it because uh, the mega pran pratishtha ceremony uh, is just uh, 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 two days away now. But absolutely, Akshay. In fact, viewers, I want you to know that the visuals on your screens, on the left side of your screens, are in fact live visuals uh, that we are getting from Ayodhya. Meanwhile, Akshat, of course, you know, with every ritual that takes place, one does feel like, you know, it's it's slowly just turning into a reality. I mean, with every ritual that takes place, the excitement, you know, becomes more and more and more. So what is the situation like on ground? How is it looking? How vibrant is it? Well, of course, Sabri, you know, uh, uh, the Ayodhya, the holy city Ayodhya has, has actually been painted in divine color and uh, just to give you a glimpse and a sneak peek as to how uh, this divine town looks like now, uh, so you can see in the morning also there are you know very lively lights, uh, it has, uh, it's, they are act actually looking tantalizing, uh, they have actually dazzled uh, the holy city uh, with, uh, uh, and il illuminated the holy city in, in morning also. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, our eyes can go, you can only see, you know, a line of devotees. Uh, they, they are, of course, you know, walking on the road in this uh, chilly uh, winter also, uh, 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 carrying their divinity along with them. Uh, and perhaps, uh, you know, it's, it's a dream come true for many because uh, if you just, you know, walk here and try to speak to some people also out here uh, as to how they feel about the grand inauguration, uh, then of course, uh, you know, uh, sir, where are सुन रहे थे की हम लोग अयोध्या में ऐसा हो रहा है यहाँ अभी देख रहे हैं बहुत खुशी का दिन हम लोग को समय है यहाँ पर हो रहा है वो सब मिल रहा है एकदम होशी खुशी लग रहा है हम लोग को सबके पास के सपने के सच होने जैसा सपने के सच होने जैसा है जो सपना था वो सच हो रहा है हमारी राम लला जी आ गए इससे पहले आज हम लोग का सपना पूरा हुआ पांचों सौ साल से हम लोग इस इस चीज के तरस रहे थे आज हम लोग के देखने के लिए मिल गया है मिल रहा है और इससे आवादी होने वाला है इससे बोलो क्या बोलेंगे ह और ये जब सुना ये प्राण प्रतिष्ठा हो रही है तो 16 तारीख को ही मैं आ गया 16 को चलो 17 को मैं आ गया और ये जो है हमारा बहुत बड़ा सौभाग्य है हमारी पत्नी कितनी पीड़ी निकल गई ये हमारे बहुत बड़े सौभाग्य है कि हम दर्शन कर रहे हैं जय श्री राम जय श्री राम बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया बात करने के they are filled with jubilant energy that uh, the Pran Pratishtha ceremony and the mega inauguration is actually going to take place on 22nd of January. Uh, and perhaps it's a dream come true for many. Uh, you know, they, they have said that it's like uh, a wait of 500 years uh, is actually uh, coming to an end now. Right, absolutely, Akshat. We heard there over there the man who was telling us that he's come all the way from Mumbai. And of course, we have a lot of... Uh, People coming in from across India to see this grand, uh, grand ceremony that is going to take place in a mere three days. But uh, Akshat, uh, stay with us on the broadcast. More news coming in from Ayodhya. Of course, uh, we're just two days away from the inauguration of Ayodhya's Ram Temple. In preparation for this significant event, the UP government has implemented a three-layered security cordon manned by a special security force, a dedicated unit established by the Uttar Pradesh government to safeguard temples and vital installations. So, of course, uh, uh, Akshat still with us on the broadcast. Akshat, of course, you know, we were just a couple of minutes ago, we were talking about those uh, three suspects who've been nabbed. And of course, with that in the picture, um, you need to have security. Now, we're learning that uh, you, of course, have a three-layered security that has been inculcated if you could take our viewers through the details of that probably you know you said it right because uh, there is going to be a lot of vvip movement on that day and for that very reason 
uh, the security has been beefed up. Uh, you can actually see, uh, you know, there also uh, the police force uh, standing on the ground, uh, keeping a continuous vigil. And now what we are learning is that a three-layer security cordon, uh, which is manned by the special uh, security force, uh, uh, you know, is, is uh, going to guard temples and uh, uh, vital places and CRPF, provincial armed uh, 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 police and uh, UP civil police uh, also there on the ground of course and along with them RAF rapid action force you can see there uh, also on the ground uh, you know guarding and keeping a continuous vigil, vigil uh, uh, to avoid any kind of infiltration or suspicious activity uh, and uh, you know 100 commandos of SSF have also been trained uh, by uh, NSG uh, uh, in you know highly specialized anti-terror uh, uh, tactics and intervention drills uh, so that uh, they can take vantage positions in and around the temple premises uh, and uh, can ward off uh, any possible security threats uh, because that's rather important uh, there our, uh, because we know uh, that around 7,000 guests are going to be present uh, when the Pran Pratishtha ceremony uh, will be taking place uh, on January 22nd so of course uh, you know, uh, uh, the 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 uh, personal uh, personnel for, uh, from you know different forces uh, will be deputed, uh, and uh, uh, of course uh, the zones have also been created: red zone, orange zone, and yellow zone, uh, and they have been uh, you know uh, demarcated. Uh, and uh, uh, according to the zones, uh, uh, the deputation uh, will be divided, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know the entry is also restricted for many individuals now uh, because uh, uh, slowly and gradually. Uh, you know, it, it, it is actually becoming a, a, a highly sensitive zone because as I said earlier also, uh, there is going to be a lot of VVIP movement. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.